Hello and welcome to Pictorial Planet. Today we're going to be talking about toning. In our last Friday's tip I said keep hold of those test strips and there's a reason for that. Some of your images you'll want to tone. Now toning is done for various reasons, some aesthetic, some archival. The main archival toners are sepia, selenium and gold. They're the three you want to use if you want your pictures to last basically forever. We're going to look at sepia toning today and it's not particularly for archival reasons but it's for aesthetic. I have a photograph of the garden that I want to have a very slight nostalgic feel about it. We're going to look at how to do that with thiocarbamide or sepia toning. Let's go. So before we start making our bleach and toner, let's just talk about the chemicals we're going to need. So first of all, you'll need some sodium hydroxide and you'll need some thioria. These are the two chemicals that's going to make the toner. For the bleach, we're going to need potassium ferrocyanide and potassium bromide. Now, this is one of the simplest of all the formulas I'll cover on my channel, I think, because every single one of these chemicals is going to be used at one and a half teaspoons. So it's really simple. And don't get hung up about these measurements because it really is a very simple and straightforward process, bleaching and toning, and you don't need the accuracy that you need when you're developing films, for instance. So let's make up our chemicals now. The first thing I'm going to do is make up the thioria. So like I said, I need one and a half teaspoons of this. So here I have my teaspoon measurements. I've got the one teaspoon and I have 100 milliliters of warm water. Now, as you can see, I'm not even going to level the teaspoon because this is a very simple operation, one and a half teaspoons. Let's stir that up and dissolve it. And that will make our 5% solution of thioria. And for those with scales who want accuracy, it's 5 grams. It's this chemical, the thioria, which is going to give us the sulfide to make the color in our prints. And that's it all dissolved. And I'll put it in my small bottle. Now, a word of warning about thioria. Be careful with this in the dark room. The powder of the thioria, if it gets on prints, can stain them. And it can also damage unprocessed paper as well. So do be careful with this in the dark room. This is why I'm mixing it outside. Okay, I'm going to wash this out and then we'll do the sodium hydroxide. Okay, so now the sodium hydroxide. Now this is caustic, so be careful with this. Don't get this on your skin, your eyes, or breathe it in. And we want our one and a half teaspoons. One and a half. Add it slowly. It does get hot when it dissolves. And that dissolved very easily. Okay, now if it gets hot, be careful, stop adding it if it gets too hot. But now it's going to be okay, I think it'll be cool enough to put into the bottle. And for those with scales, that's 10 grams, one and a half teaspoons.
perfect. Now, let me wash this out because I'm going to make the bleach. So now, fast forward, I've got my trays ready for doing the toning. And up here are the two chemicals we've just made up to do the toning with. And a measuring jug. And here are the chemicals to make the bleach with. Now, with sepia toning, you bleach the photograph first and then you tone the photograph in the thioria. And the thioria converts the silver in the print into silver sulfide. And it's that silver sulfide that gives the photograph the color and also the archival permanence. Okay, let's have a look how this works. So first of all, the bleach is going to be on the left and the thiocarbamide toner is going to be on the right. I need to make up the bleach. I have a measuring jug here. Oh, there's a little bug in there. <laughs> you don't want that to get hurt. <laughs> On out you go, fella. Okay, so we're going to make one litre of bleach. And just as I said earlier, it's one and a half teaspoons of ferrocyanide. You don't have to be dead accurate with this. This is an art. There. Dissolve it in. Okay. And one and a half teaspoons of potassium bromide. Approximately one. And about a half. Stir that in. You'll recognize the color of this. It's very similar to the solution we made for liquid sunshine. And of course it's going to do the same thing. It's going to bleach the print. There. I'm going to give that a wash. It looks like sunshine, doesn't it? So there's our bleach. And the next thing we're going to make is toner. Now to do this, we're going to add in this case, for this demonstration, I'm going to use a litre of water. But normally I would probably use 500 millilitres. And for each 500 millimetres of toner, we add 28 mil of our concentrates. So in this case, I'm going to add 56 mil. That's 45. And another 10. There. Doesn't have to be absolutely precise. And 28 mil per 500 of sodium hydroxide. So 56 for this one litre. 45, 56. Now, the more thioria you add, the lighter, warmer brown it gets. I'm going for a darker brown, which is what I like. More contrast. So give that a little stir in. There we go. That will dissipate through the solution. Okay, so now we get to the actual toning. Now here, I have some of those test strips that we talked about on my last quick tip. 
When I make a test strip, I do the usual thing where I cover the paper up and so on until I find the exposure that's correct for the highlights and then I adjust the grade of the paper for the blacks. I then use that timing in order to create this kind of test strip so I can get an overall feel of the image before I waste a 10 by 8 piece of paper on it. So I get a few of these as I tweak the timing a second here, a second there. What we're going to do is use these test strips to find out what our toner looks like and get a rough timing for the toner that we want. Let's have a look. Let's do it to completion. So I'm going to pop the strip in there now. It's dry. It doesn't need to be wet, but it does need to have been well washed when you develop the print. You can see it's starting to fade. The highlights are going first. And I'm going to bleach this to what we call completion. And what that will make is a very light colored image. The highlights will go completely and only a slight part of the blacks will remain. And this could take five minutes. So you can now see that the bleach is really acting on the highlights, they're disappearing. It's great that you can do this in the daylight and see exactly how your print is going. It's been about a minute and the grass is disappearing in the highlights. It's been about three minutes now and I can see now that the blacks are being bleached out. You can see the wheelbarrow is getting bleached away. Okay, so that's where I'm happy to have it. Let me just show you that to the camera. I think you can see there that all the contrast is gone. It's a very light and slightly brown image. that used to be the photograph. The next thing to do is to make sure you thoroughly wash this yellow chemical, the ferrocyanide, out of this paper. So I'm going to give it a good wash of at least two minutes for RC paper and 10 or 20 minutes for fiber-based paper. You've really got to make sure the ferrocyanide is out. Now the first test strip has been washing for two or three minutes and we've completely removed the ferrocyanide bleach from it. Let me show you it now. There it is. It's very faint, a slight warm brown color and we're going to add that now to the redeveloper, the sepia toner itself. I've washed my tongs. Let's pop it in and see what happens. Immediately She's building up contrast. Now you don't have to time this. You can leave it in the sepia toner until you feel it's ready or until completion. It's looking really nice. Lovely. All right, I think that that's ready. It's probably complete already. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm going to put that back in the wash now. So the test strip's been in the water for two or three minutes getting washed, and I'd like to show you what that looks like. So here we are. Here is the purpley browns of this sepia tone print, and I love that color. I think that's a beautiful color and it's my preferred color. Now remember, if you add more of the Thioria to the toner, you'll get a lighter, more warm brown. So it's totally up to you how you mix and match these colors. And once you've worked out what you like, that's it, write it down and stick to it. That's, that'll be your toner, your color. Okay, so let's show another alternative way of doing this. 
If I wanted more blacks in this picture, I could actually pull it from the bleach more quickly. I could let the highlights bleach before the blacks went. Let's try that on the next test strip. So here I have the next test strip. Let's pop it in and this time we're going to pull it before it's completely bleached. Again, this has been processed normally in the darkroom and very well washed to make sure there's no fixer in this paper because if you have not washed your print properly and there's any fixer left, you'll find that the bleach stays bleached. The fixer fixes the bleached condition. All right, so we can now see the highlights are getting bleached first and the blacks are still black. So I'm going to pull this now and I'm going to put it in the wash water. So the second test strip has been in the wash now and this is the one I pulled. You can see the blacks are still black but the highlights have been bleached and they're very slightly red or brown. And we're going to put this one straight into the toner and we'll see what happens. So the contrast is coming straight back into the grass but the highlights are being toned a beautiful brown colour, a very light, delicate brown. This is a sort of split toning where we haven't split two tones, but we've just toned one part of the image, the highlights. You can see that's quite attractive. And that, I believe, is it toned to completion. Let me give that a wash and show it to you. So the second strip has now been washed and I want to compare the two for you so you can see the difference. On the, at the top is the first test strip that we bleached to completion which isn't completely white. There was a faint light brown image and then toned and then the bottom strip is where we pulled it from the bleach while the blacks were still black. I know which I prefer. I actually prefer this one. It has more of a nuanced look to it. Only the highlights have picked up the toning. Very nice. I'm now going to tone one of my prints just the way we did with that last test strip because that's what I'm wanting. That's the effect I want. So here it is. Here's the full print and I'm going to pop it straight into the bleach. I'm going to wait till the highlights start to be bleached out. And then I'm going to pull it. Give it a full wash again and then redevelop it in the toner. The highlights are definitely starting to go. Yes, that's it. I'm going to pull it now. and pop it into the wash bath. So here's the print, nicely toned. You put that in front of the camera properly. Nicely toned, although I still think it's a little bit too brown for me. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to pull it faster this time and get it out of that bleach before it creates so much bleaching. So let's have a go at that. In it goes. And there, I'm going to pull it now straight into the wash water. So after washing, it's looking definitely more contrasty. Let's put it back into this toner. 
or I should say into the toner. I haven't added in the toner yet, only the bleach. Now with these pictures that we're half toning, it's important you refix them afterwards because there could be some silver that hasn't quite been redeveloped left over. It's in a half state, so it's always safe to put it back in some fixer and refix. This is looking much better. Definitely much better. All right, let's get that in the wash. So now coming out of the water bath, I like this new one much better. There's the new one that I've just done. You can see it's much more subtly toned. And I do like it when a photograph is toned in such a way as people take a second look at it because they're not sure if it's toned or not. And this was the one before it, which I didn't pull quickly enough from the bleach. Um, and I think that's too brown for me. I definitely prefer this one. So that's toning. You do it for archival reasons or aesthetic reasons or both. Today was both. I had the picture of the garden there and I wanted a nostalgic feel for it. And I want my great great grandchildren to see that image. The chemistry is simple. You can add a bit of this and add a bit of that to change the color of the tone. It's up to you. Play around with it. Enjoy it. Get the color that you like. Add a bit more hydroxide for a more purple or darker tone. Or add more of the thioria to get a more yellow and warm and lighter tone. It's up to you. You can even pull it, as I did, to keep more contrast in the image. Keep your blacks black. I really enjoyed today. My prints are now in the fix and they're going to get a thorough wash after this and then I'll hang them up to dry and have a good look at them. But thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you Friday. Mm -hmm.